This side of my head, for some reason, has less hair on it. That's my life. Hi, Mal Pals and New Pals. Today's video is going to be a hair tutorial. I have been Dutch braiding my hair recently and it's just like at that stage where my bangs are a little too long But I don't want to cut them. I want to grow them out and I figured out a couple weeks ago that my hair is actually even though it's two centimeters long, it's long enough to do this style. So I've had a lot of requests to show you guys how I do this. It's not just a normal French or Dutch braid. There are some things that you need to know if you're going to <laughs> braid tiny, tiny hairs. I highly recommend using second day hair. If not, you can use a texturizing spray. When your hair is this short and you have pieces that are this short, you need some grip. Even though this is second day hair for me, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some texturizing spray. This is Kevin Murphy's Do Over. So I'm just gonna brush this through. I personally like to do this in the center of my hair because it kind of gives both sides a fighting chance. When I have done it with a side part, this side is harder to like hold the braid because you have all the shorter pieces over here. So if you don't have bangs, I think you could get away with a side part. But today we're doing a center part and I just go with my nose even though it's crooked. So I only part perfectly the top of my hair because when I get to the back, some sides I need to pull from different areas. And trust me, when your hair's this short, it's not that big of a deal when you don't have a perfect center part in the back and you guys will see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clip that section so I'm not accidentally grabbing from that side. I'm going to be doing a Dutch braid today, which means taking the sections under each section. You could totally do a French braid if you don't know how to do a Dutch braid and go over each, each section. So it's key if you have bangs, if you don't, don't pay attention to this part. It is key to grab a little portion that has longer pieces in it just to give your hair uh, a fighting chance to blend in with the rest of the hair. So I'm just going to section this into three sections and as you can see we got a little bit of longer hair in there. So I'm gonna go under and then over and then I'm going to go under again and as you go pull pretty tight. You know like you want to hold you wanna have a good grip on your hair the whole time you're doing this. And uh, also, I'm keeping the braid closer to my ear rather than going back like a boxer braid. I'm keeping it closer to my ear because that's where the shorter pieces are and your hair has a better chance of staying in the braid. So now I'm going to add to this back section and then go under. And then I'm gonna add to this front section and then go under and hold tight the whole time. So I'm just adding sections as I go, pulling tight every time. Okay, it's a little uncomfortable, but once you get the hang of it, you know, it just becomes part of the process. So I'm adding another section to that section. Now this is where you might see bangs pop out if you do have bangs, and I'll show you how to fix that, so don't panic too much. So I'm just adding to each section as I go. And as you can see, here's a little bang guy. Don't worry about it. I will show you how to hide those pieces that pop out. Pulling tight and keeping the braid closer to my ear rather than the back of my head. Okay. So pull tight. You can leave a section out in front of the ear if you want. I don't want to. I don't like hair tickling my face. It really like pisses me off for some reason. So holding tight and then this is where I'm grabbing from the back okay and you don't really have to worry too much about it being perfect in the back with shorter hair so that's kind of a perk so and I'm just adding to the front and back sections as I go okay grabbing from the back don't worry where it's coming from where the part is in the back. Pulling tight every time, kind of like you, it's gonna feel like you're tying your shoelaces, okay? Like when you go 
and done. Like you're gonna, and, and done. done. And just pull your hair. Okay, now once I get to this portion and there's this little bit left, this is when I'm going to grab one last section from underneath and go under, okay? And then I'm gonna grab this quickly at the nape of my neck, grab a clear elastic, and then I'm just going to secure this at the very nape of my neck, okay? And I'm not gonna do it too tight because I've done that before and I've ripped some of my hair out. So there is one side done. Boom, you guys. So the keys, keep the braid closer to the back of the ear rather than going above, you know, holding your hands above, hold them to the side. And then also, I'll show you in a second. Hey! How I hide the little bits that wanna poke out. I'll give you options, but I'm gonna go ahead, speed this up. finish before we start styling the braids. This side of my head, for some reason, has less hair on it. That's my life. The braid looks a little thinner. Now, the thing is with shorter hair in braids like this, you can't really pull apart, you know, your braid and make it look thicker than it is because then you're gonna be pulling sections out. So what I like to do, instead of pulling, I just take my fingers and I kind of separate like this, so it gives them a little bit of texture and movement, but I'm not pulling sections out, you know? I'm not doing this number, which you can do if you have longer hair. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I fix like these little, you see this wing ding here? Two options, like on this side, I think I'm safe with doing this method, and then on this side, I'm gonna do a different method. Use a very strong hold hairspray, okay? I like the Kevin Murphy session spray hairspray and spray it down and this is so strong hold you can literally and it will hold all day so i love this hairspray you can literally mold that back down and it doesn't look like it's sticking up see it just looks like part of the braid now and you kind of literally just mold it with your fingers and then you don't have you know that section coming out now on this hey now on this side this guy's just like completely you know, hanging out. So what I go, what I do is I go in with my hairspray, just like I would over there, just a little less directed on this section. I take this section and I take a bobby pin, okay? So this is what you do. You take it, take your bobby pin, go towards your face, towards the crown of the head. Your bobby pin is facing your face and then you just whoop, leave it back in, you know, stick it in like a pin and now you that is not sticking out and you cannot see the bobby pin those are my tricks so this is how i've been dutch braiding my hair again like i said instead of taking the sections under you can take them over change it to a french braid but here is the final look and you'll see the back of my hair i didn't need a perfectly centered part in the back so see how cute it looks i mean our hair is very short but we can do braids, girl. We can do braids. So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you try it out. Tag me in your Instagram posts. Uh, leave it in the comments. I would say if you've never braided your hair before and your hair is this short, it's gonna be a little more difficult than regularly braiding like medium to long length hair, but you can totally do it. Practice makes perfect. And then you have an updo to get all the tickles out of your face so you're not going insane. So thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you'd like to see any other types of hair tutorials. To check out the new episodes of the I'm Fine podcast, I will leave the link below. We get very deep and it's very fun and stressful at the same time. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.